scale emoluments. One, this is the, something you'll find very uh, paradoxical. As at 25th June 2024, the County Assembly of Meru had raised this question with the County Executive on whether there is a manual payroll. And the County Executive had answered satisfactorily that there was no longer use of a manual payroll in the County Government of Meru. That's number one. But number two, the same audit report that the county assembly will give you showing that there may have been use of manual payroll previously will show use of manual payroll in the county itself as well in the same financial year. And we're not here to equal terms. We're making a simple case that the procedure of processing the integrated payroll personnel database numbers, IPPD numbers, takes time. And therefore, the employees who are in the meantime accommodated on the manual payrolls are there for the limited purpose when we are waiting for the Directorate of Personnel Management in the Ministry of Public Service to generate IPPD numbers. These are nursery school teachers whom we cannot keep for eight months as they wait for their IPPD numbers before they begin earning. There is no allegation of loss of any coin in these circumstances. I have addressed the issue of the blot alleged bloated workforce in the governor's office, but you see that they say there are 111 personal staff in the governor's office. As a matter of fact, we do not have 111 personal staff in the governor's office. It is simply not true. On the allegation that uh, one Kiambi Crispus Manyara was paid, one, the governor is not the head of pub public county service involved in interdiction or suspension of staff. Number two, the governor does not process or pay any staff of the county government. The allegation, therefore, that this governor has paid Kiambi Crispus Manyara is actually factually false. Mr. Speaker, sir, distinguished senators, I have spent my two minutes to address certain overall, sorry, may, may I just have one minute to summarize up something? Just one minute. I, I didn't know my time was up, I thought it was two minutes. We have said before, Mr. Speaker, and we reiterate that the county assembly of Meru brings here the governor because it lacks respect for this oversight institution. If the team upstairs has uh, access to video number VKM18. Counsel uh, for the governor, your, your time is up. My apologies. I'll give you one more minute. To Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So may I just ask uh, the team upstairs to run for me video VKM18 at minute 1.18 to 1.17 strictly in the end of time. Uh, access to video number VKM18. Counsel for the... The house of shame. Your time is up. That house of greed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Called the Senate. The team upstairs to run for me video VKM18 at minute 1.18 to 1.17 strictly in the end of time. Access to video number VKM18. Counsel for the... Of shame. Of shame. That house of greed. Thank you so much. Called the Senate, a house of shame, a house of greed. Ainda trundishia ugonjwa u meru, atunga kuwa hapa. Thank you so much. That is the General Secretary of DEB Party, a party with 20 members in Meru County Assembly that has partly sponsored the motion before you. I rest the Governor's opening arguments. Now, honorable senators, kindly be upstanding.
Honorable Senators, it is now 12.49. It is time to adjourn the Senate. The Senate, therefore, stands adjourned until today, Monday, the 19th of August, 2024, at 2.30 p.m. Thank you. The marks at the end of the first session were